Hello, today the Jogcast team is at the Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester. So we're here at the opening of an exhibition documenting space science in China, all the way back from gunpowder to manned space missions. And to bring us more, we're going directly to Dr. Robin Holgate. So could you tell us a little bit about the partnership with China that brought this exhibition about? The two or three organisations that we've established a partnership with. Um, the first is the China Science and Technology Museum, and we went over and visited them last year. But at the same time, through our links with the Confucius Institute, uh, we met up with the China High Tech Industrialization Association uh, to see if there was a, an exhibition that we could bring over from China to the UK. And this space exhibition is one that uh, they developed, shown around China, uh, and um, it became possible for us to then bring this over with the first time this, this exhibition had come outside China uh, and we're quite pleased they're happy to, to go with Manchester as a venue for this. So could you tell us a little bit more about what's actually in this exhibition? Well the exhibition is covering the first uh, um, dreams or aspirations of people in China to fly right through to the present day. So it begins in the, the Song Dynasty, uh, at a time when uh, China, one of the early civilizations, had discovered gunpowder and uh, people had uh, from that you know, developed the use of uh, rockets, um, partly for military purposes, uh, but allied with that was uh, sort of the ideas of one or two people, how you could strap rockets to chairs and that could be a, a way in which people could then fly. Uh, one or two early attempts at this, I'm not quite sure how they went, but essentially the expression is looking at those early sort of dreams of flight and then comes then straight up to the present day uh, and just uh, then setting the scene for future developments uh, in aerospace in China. Representatives from China came over for the launch of the exhibition and we managed to grab Mr Yu Zhang of the China High Tech Industrialization Association to tell us more about the Chinese space programme. Could you just speak a little bit about the actual history of uh, space flight and uh, the significance or the role that China's played in developing uh, astronomy? China's space industry was established in 1956. For the past 50 years, China has been totally self-sufficient to carry out research, perform innovation and find her own way ahead. And if you could talk maybe a little bit about um, some of the, the scientific goals or uh, the astronomical things which are associated with the space program of China. There are several stages in Chinese space project. The first was to send a man-made satellite into space, our first milestone. The second was man-made space flight, which was achieved in October 2003 by launching the first man-made Chinese spaceship. The third step was to launch Chang'e 1 moon satellite in 2007. The next goal will be establishing a space workstation orbiting the Earth. After the first moon satellite in 2007, we are supposed to send the lunar rover in 2012 and manage a return trip in 2018. So will there be any cooperation or collaboration with NASA, ESA, or some of the other international uh, space agencies with the Chinese space program? We have quite a few international partnerships. For example, we developed and launched the resource satellite with the Brazilian government. We also cooperate with the Russians on the Mars detector project. The plan is to land the detector onto the surface of Mars to carry out exploration. What would you like to, likely to expect from the China National Space Administration? The development of the Chinese space industry is also the government's wish. Our future goal is to send astronauts onto the surface of the moon, which is supposed to become reality in the next 20 to 30 years. China has been launching space missions since 1970, when the Dongfang Hung 1 satellite was put into orbit around the Earth. Since 1999, a series of China Brazil Earth resource satellites have been making optical and infrared observations of the Earth's natural and man made environments, and the images they produce are freely available online. Meanwhile, China's manned space program has produced the Shenzhou spacecraft, in which Yang Liwei became the first Chinese astronaut or Taikonaut in 2003. The future of the program is a Chang'eng 1 space laboratory due for launch next year, to be followed by a permanently manned space station around 10 years. Beyond Earth, 
The Chang'e 1 lunar orbiter sent back 3D images of the moon's surface in 2007, and further Chang'e missions will land rovers to analyse the geology and topology of the moon, and eventually bring samples from the lunar surface back to Earth. China is also the only country currently working towards sending humans back to the moon. Further out in the solar system, an ongoing collaboration with Russia to explore Mars will see the orbiter Yinghua 1 launch in 2011, ahead of later missions to land on the Martian surface. All China space missions have been launched using the Long March family of rockets. The exhibition, From Gunpowder to Space Rockets, is at Manchester's Museum of Science and Industry until the 7th of August 2010. And listen, and listen to this.